Well, one of the difficult things for a family to decide is when to have spine surgery. And I think that uh, every child is certainly an individual, and there are a lot of factors that have to be taken into account. What we're realizing now is the spine is important to help hold someone upright so they can sit comfortably, but it's also important to help support the lungs and the chest to help the child breathe properly. So a decision to make uh, or, or a discussion about treating the spine in children with SMA is something that should happen before there's a curvature, before there's a problem at the outset of uh, the first initial visit. There are technologies that have evolved over the past few years that allow us to uh, support the spine uh, with, it, with rods and, and little things to hold the spine up without doing what we call a fusion. What this allows us to do is take a young child who's growing and allow them to continue growing while at the same time supporting their spine. In older children, we do what's called a fusion, which means we put rods and hooks into the spine, but we also glue all the bones together so they can't curve anymore. That's much more rigid and that won't allow any growth. And there are many factors that have to be taken into account. So if a child is having a, a worsening curvature, difficulty sitting, difficulty with breathing, one of the first things we look at is, is this related to their spine and should this be treated? But it's very important when treating spine disorders or curves in children with SMA to make this a decision between or among the family, the orthopedist, the pulmonologist, the nutritionist, the neurologist, and all the members of the team, because a team approach is really the most important thing when making these decisions.